Happy New Year's, everyone. And welcome back to the very first episode of Yes Chef 2023. So the NFL playoffs are just a few days away. So we gotta hurry up and get you ready for the Super Bowl. And wings are essential to the big day. So I am going to show you how to make some Hennessy barbecue fried wings. Oh, everybody is going to be raving about this one. So come on in family, let's cook. ingredients for this particular recipe it's not a lot and it's going to be very easy so first we have our chicken now I got the Tyson chicken wings now I'll tell you this I, I I do buy a lot of the frozen chicken wing pieces but Tyson over the last year and a half two years for whatever reason once you cook them up they really shrink I don't know what's going on with them but I am going to start doing the whole wings and cutting them myself because the integrity of the wing keeps in place with these. So we have these and we're going to cut the wings off. We're going to cut them uh, apart. Then uh, we also have some brown sugar and then we have some garlic. Now, you don't have to use the garlic. I'm using this garlic and um, that's just my preference. You don't have to do that. Okay, so I got some um, Sticky Fingers Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, and then I have just some regular old Kraft original barbecue sauce, and then we got the Hennessy. Now, I don't drink Hennessy. I'm a bourbon guy. But we're gonna do this Hennessy um, in this particular recipe. We got some olive oil, and then we have my special seasoning blend that I'm blending up. I'm telling you now, folks, watch out for this seasoning it's coming soon okay um so we're going to put this all together now before i go any further i just want to let you know um i ran across this video by uh the channel is called travel thirsty and they uploaded a video of a couple of weeks ago and it's called american food the best hennessy fried chicken wings in new york city hudson smokehouse now I watched the video and I was very intrigued, but I saw some things that I really didn't like. And so I'm going to try my best to do this just a little bit better, even though I don't know how it tastes. But we're going to do it. So come on in. Let's get this thing started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut this little uh, wing tip off. I'm going to just do that. And, and listen, if you don't have a cleaver, you can use, you know, a nice little, um, a, a regular little knife that you have at your house. So the important thing is you want to get between these, um, these joints. Okay. So it's like that kind of get these joints out of the way. And if there's some little, uh, wing feathers on there, you know, you'll take them off as you wash them. All right. So we have our chicken all clean. We have it drained off. Um, to get all of the excess water off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and drop this garlic off in here. And again, if you don't wanna use it, that's fine. If you wanna use less, that's fine. If you wanna use a little more, hey, that's also fine as well. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some olive oil in here, okay? And then we're gonna get some of our, our good seasoning on here. We're just going to give it a nice little mix and we'll add some more seasoning in here uh, as we see fit. Of course, again, that's up to you. Can't teach you how to season. At this point, I'm pretty good with how the seasoning looks. So uh, there's two ways to do this. 
You can either put it in the oven. If you're going to put it in the oven, get you a nice sheet pan, put some aluminum foil or some parchment paper on the bottom of it just to make cleanup a little bit easy and then put a wire rack over it. Uh, of course, a wire rack that fits the sheet pan that you have. Uh, that way, uh, the heat is going to go up under the wings and over the wings. Now, keep it in there for about 30 minutes. And then in 30 minutes, take your wings out and turn each one of them so you'll have an even cook. And you just want to cook it an hour because you're going to put it in some grease later on. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this grill. I have a gas grill I just bought, a next grill. It's absolutely beautiful, so I'll see you outside. All right, so the grill is ready to go. It's somewhere around 650 degrees. We're not gonna cook at 650 degrees. We just wanted to get the grill hot. So let's go ahead and put these wings on the grill. All right, so we have a five burner. We're gonna go ahead, turn these last two off. And we're gonna go ahead and cut down the heat on the other three burners because we're trying to prevent any flare ups. We don't wanna really cook these all the way. We kinda of wanna just par cook them and we should be fine. So we're gonna leave the top open. We're gonna check on them every now and again. Again, we're not gonna go ahead and cook them all the way. We're gonna probably cook them between halfway, but we're gonna do a continuous turn on these every 10 minutes or so, just so one side doesn't cook more than the other. So once we come back, we're gonna be ready to get the sauce together. All right, here we are. These are ready to go. It only took about 10 minutes because we had the grill so hot in the beginning that cut down on the cooking time. Now, it's gonna take about an 45 minutes to an hour in the oven, but you gotta press through. So we're gonna move these out of the way and get this sauce ready to go. All right, I got the pot hot and ready. So we'll go ahead and put this Hennessy in there. All right. Now, be very careful with this. Do not try to play with it. Try to do it outside if this is your first time doing it, but you can go ahead and light it. And that's gonna go ahead and burn off that alcohol. We're gonna get that all out of the way. So. Once this alcohol burns off, because I don't want to taste this alcohol. I just want to taste the flavor of the Hennessy, which I don't like drinking, but should be good in these wings. So once this burns off, we'll be right back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add this sugar in here while it's still on fire. Again, be very careful if you don't want to do that. Just wait till the fire subside and then go ahead and add your sugar but I want to kind of cook it off. And just because you don't see any fire doesn't mean that this fire won't pop back up on you. So again, be very careful. Now, as you notice, I'm using a big whisk. You don't want anything small to where your hands has to be so close to the fire. And be careful because it will boil over as well. So if it does that, just take it off the fire, let it cool down a bit. Now I'm starting to get in the smell of that Hennessy and then we'll just go in with the barbecue sauce.
Then I'm just going to hit it off with this Carolina barbecue sauce because it's a mustard based sauce. It's a little bit tangy. The sugar and the cognac is going to be very sweet. This is going to add a balance to it. That's not that's going to allow it to not have a sweet overpowering flavor. And listen, if you don't want to put the Carolina uh, barbecue sauce in there, that's fine. But I do believe it's going to balance everything out. Now, keep in mind, I have not put this recipe through the test kitchen. We're just winging it. Uh, <laughs> I saw the video and it fired me up and I figured I could make it better. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this come to a slight boil. And then after that, we'll remove it, let it come down to temperature and then we'll put it in a squeeze bottle all right i have the grease uh at about 300 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and put some of these chickens off in here as you can see they're not floating so you know they're not all the way done uh, and that's what you're looking for now I have, I'm gonna go ahead and put 12 of these in here. So these chicken wings are gonna come along nicely because I don't fry at 350, 375. I don't feel a need to, to, to cook or to fry at that high of a heat. I always like to be between somewhere between 300 and 325. Now I explain and go into that with more detail uh, in this chicken video that I'm gonna to pin to the top here to let you see the process of how chicken should be done. So go ahead and check that out. And also, I'll go ahead and put a playlist of appetizers uh, up there for you as well, because we're doing Super Bowl. So maybe there's something in that appetizer list that you can find that you, that you wanna cook for your Super Bowl party as well. All right, we are done with this. So we're gonna go ahead, take them out, put them over here and let them, let them drain a little bit. We don't want them to drain all the way uh, because we want to make sure that they're nice and hot when we go to add the sauce on them. All right, family, it's time. Take a gander at this. I know you see it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm about to dig in. I think I'm gonna take me a little flat on this one. And listen, all y'all in my comments talking about my smacking, I like to smack. This is my channel. So I'm going to smack until the wheels fall off. I'm going to go ahead, get this little bone out of here. Just clear the way for everything. Cheers. what you call finger looking good. That thing is fine.
that thing there is fire. Woo. Look, folks, <laughs> the only reason why I'm not going to eat another one is because I have some stuff to go over with you real quick. So starting in this new year, we're going to end all of our videos and we're going to roll all of the people that started to subscribe to this channel from week to week. And that's just letting you know that I appreciate you for subscribing and following me and, you know, watching the videos and everything. So we're going to start doing that. And there's a lot of more things that are coming up. There's some more interviews that are coming up. So starting with this video, I think every week leading up to the Super Bowl, I'm going to do some type of appetizer, whether it's chicken wings, different flavors of whatever, so that you can get yourself ready for a Super Bowl. Well, with that being said, go ahead hit that like button and if you are not already go ahead hit the subscribe button and hey hit the notification bell that way you'll be up to date on everything that we do here on this channel i am going to start doing a lot of live uh shows as well a little q a kind of getting in touch with the members on this channel so folks that's it for me i'm gonna go ahead get into one of these again because these are fire. Mm. So, until the next time we see you, family, until the very next video, fins up. And as always, family, peace. Mm.